Hello, my name is Daniel Rao. I'm working for Red Hat as a technical marketing major. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to monitor and observe your Microsoft's application metrics on JWAS EAP with the micro profile capabilities. Uh, here's a, a couple of key takeaways. We're going, to, uh, you, we're going to show you how to use Eclipse micro profile upon tracing to trace every single micro services request. And then we're going to re-examine metrics using HTTP endpoint with external uh, Prometheus server. And last thing is uh, you're going to learn how to use Eclipse micro profile health endpoint uh, with a monitor uh, server health check. So let's get started. So here's my uh, Java application. Uh, uh, have a simple uh, RESTful API uh, uh, application. So here are the two endpoints. I'm going to inject the microservices services. Uh, here, return the hello world and then with some name. So here are the two uh, RESTful API endpoint, the JSON format, return uh, JSON format endpoint, and XML endpoint. So I'm going to uh, uh, packaging this application using Maven plugin. And now I'm going to uh, run the JBoss EAP730 on my local machine using uh, JBoss uh, uh, Shred script. So now you see uh, EAP730 is running, and here is uh, JBoss EAP admin console. If you want, go to uh, management model, you can see a couple of the micro profile subsystem in your JBoss EAP. So let's try to deploy uh, the uh, application artifact. You can deploy a uh, drag and drop uh, your application artifact, aka WAR file, on your admin console and automatically enable this application deployment. Once you deployment, you, you can see here context root. You can, uh, here is a welcome page. And once you click on JSON format endpoint, you can see uh, at JSON return code and uh, XML uh, is almost same, uh, just different thing is XML format. So let's try to add um, open tracing API uh, with the micro profile open tracing component on your Maven project. Uh, the, and, and once you add uh, Maven dependency, you can uh, use uh, trace the annotation on your method level or even class method, uh, level. Let's try to trace annotation, but I'm going to disable tracing the XML endpoint at this moment. Let's try to rebuild this application uh, once again, and I'm going to deploy this application using same way, uh, to using drag and drop on the JBoss EAP admin console. Uh, in other way, you can use uh, JBoss CLI or Maven uh, plugin, Wildfire uh, uh, plugin to deploy your application. So here's my uh, standard all on Jaeger server. You can find the, the new service based on the EAP artifact name, and uh, you can see the JSON endpoint uh, request. So you can trace that with more some detail. But let's try to access uh, the other endpoint, the XML. And the same little code, the welcome, hello world micro profile, but you don't see the trace information in the Jaeger because I uh, disable that tracing annotation. So let's try to uh, modify the trace in whole request level. Uh, we install this application and deploy once again with the same way. Uh, go to go back to the admin console uh, and uh, re uh, replace this application artifact to just drag and drop. So uh, it takes a couple of seconds, uh, just, just done, and uh, we try to go to the uh, welcome page and uh, click on XML endpoint and uh, replace this trace. Now you have uh, XML endpoint uh, trace information here. So this is one of the good benefits of to use micro profile as a tech preview in JBoss EAP730. Uh, you can just add uh, maybe a maybe dependency and uh, you can find the enable, disable, etc. So I'm going to uh, try to add another dependency or metrics. You can add a couple of the, uh, annotation, county, time, and uh, etc. Once you added the new annotation for gathering metrics data, and you can you need to build uh, application once again and deploy. And JWAS EAP73 uh, 
expose your matrix endpoint as a default to retrieve your matrix from application or uh, uh, JBoss EAP server uh, uh, actually. So you can uh, expose this mastery data to external Prometheus server. This is my local standard of Prometheus server. I'm going to try to find out the same query and uh, uh, to try to uh, JSON format endpoint. So let's try to uh, deploy it one more time uh, uh, with your new uh, artifact. So click on JSON and the same report, and you you're gonna see here the the hit count is just increased to one from zero. So which means the metric is perfectly uh, fitting in the your uh, real time uh, gathering, and you can see the same result in a Prometheus server in grab and console terminal. I'm going to reload a couple of time uh, to uh, check out uh, the increase the number of total JSON hitting. So the same happening in the uh, JBoss EAP admin uh, RESTful API and the Prometheus at the same time have the same result. The last capability in the health check, you can the GEAP uh, exposed the health endpoint as a default based on micro profile component and specification API. So thank you for watching.